Hello, I'm Sam Greenberg, and you may have received one of these on your front doorstep. This is a Greenberg smoked turkey. There may be a green label that says, lift here to see who sent you the turkey in case it was a gift. We recommend that you do that. Also, if you look on the end of the box, you, may, you can see the weight of the turkey, this one being a 10 pound. So you can reorder that same size next year if that's what you want or adjust the size for the next season. Also, the easiest way to open the box, slide your hands in under the top flap and give it a jerk. And you're in the box. Now. Here is the Greenberg smoked turkey. Sometimes you may receive it and it's actually still frozen. We recommend, you can even use the sack. Lay it on your counter like this, lay it there for about eight to 10 hours and let it thaw out before you use it. That's the best way to eat the turkey is at room temperature. Now, once the turkey's thawed, everybody wants to know, what do I do with it now? Well, I recommend eating it right like it is. First, the deep dark color of this majestic bird. <laughs> this is all because of the hickory smoke that we use to smoke these turkeys and only hickory smoke. They come out with a deep dark color. The slits that you'll see in both sides of the breast, both legs, down by the neck, that's where we put our spices. And you'll see more of that as we carve into the turkey. But those are all signatures of a Greenberg smoked turkey. Now we're at the point that is right up there with public speaking and carving the holiday bird. They're both horrible things. We all dread having to do them, but it's easy and you can look like a pro because I'm certainly not one. So you have the bird. I recommend don't pick out the fancy knife for the holiday. Pick out your favorite knife. That's what I recommend. There are two ways to carve the turkey. You can either carve it for that you're gonna use later. You're gonna carve some now, but you're also gonna wanna keep the bird for later, or you're gonna wanna serve the whole bird, or at least half of it. Both are gonna start the same way. Take the turkey and start down the center of the breast and make a slit through the skin all the way down the turkey. Now, peel the skin back. Now you have half the turkey exposed, and when you get through carving, you have the skin to pull back up over the breast, stick it back in the bag, and it preserves your turkey for later. The most important cut is about to happen. Take your knife, and right above the wing joint. Notice the turkey has no wings. We left the first joint. That's so that you're not paying for extra weight that doesn't give you any meat. But right above the wing joint, make a slit at the base of the breast and go all the way through the turkey. That way, as you slice, Every slice falls off. These are perfect cuts for sandwiches. Now, should you want to use a turkey and carve it for a table, I recommend you fillet the breast. Find the center of the breast and carve all the way down and meet that slit you just made above the wing. Remove the whole breast. You can carve the entire turkey. And what this does for you is every slice gets a little of the spice that's been put in the breast. 
If you've never had our turkey before, or even if you're just curious about it, this is what makes our turkey special. These are the spices that we put in the turkey. This is what makes a Greenberg smoked turkey. We've covered the, the breast meat, the white meat of the turkey. Let's go to the dark meat. There's no real easy way to carve the dark meat, and there's certainly no easy way to carve a leg because of the tendons that run through it. But I do recommend using that meat. You can pull it down, you can break the leg off, it should come off easy. Just come through the joint and you have the leg. The thigh meat is delicious. We recommend eating all the turkey. Now, a little secret that my father taught me when I was very young. The king's oyster on the back of the turkey about midway. If you'll pull the skin back on the bottom of the turkey, there is a piece of dark meat that comes out and it's the best. I recommend you not throw it away without eating that. Here you have the turkey. You have a breast left, you have all the dark meat on one side left. You don't wanna throw that away, you wanna save it. Any white meat that you have on the breast or any breast meat that you have left, you wanna cover it back up with the skin that you did not cut completely off. Get the plastic bag that the turkey came in and slide the turkey back in there Put the twist tie back on it and put it in your refrigerator. It will keep just like this for a couple of weeks with no problems. That's how you carve a Greenberg smoked turkey. And it's pretty darn good. Somebody could sell this. Are you filming? <laughs>